It is eight o'clock and it's the morning before I head off on a train to walk the length of Britain. I am feeling probably like people are feeling before they're leaving for a three month adventure. I am like very excited, but I'm also very, very nervous and giddy and terrified and lots of butterflies if I tell me. I also don't feel ready, um, which I don't know if you ever will feel fully ready for something like that. But I figured since I've not actually packed yet, yay, I'm going to show you how I pack all my gear into my trusty Atom Packs Mobac pack. And we're going to go through it step by step, item by item, layer by layer. There's about a million ways of how you can pack your backpack. I don't think there is a right or wrong inherently. It very much depends on how, what you prefer and what you need access to at what point in time during your day. However, I would say there are three rules of thumbs I follow. One, I put items that I need last, mostly within my tent at the end of the day, at the bottom, and then I pack upwards with the items I need most access to. In my case, those are clothes and food. If you're a photographer, that might be your kit, etc. If you're a parent, it might be other stuff. My recommendation is pack stuff that's least necessary at the bottom and then work your way up. Number two is that put your somewhat heaviest kit of gear in the middle closest to your back, mainly because you want to keep it close to your body and have like a little bit centered so that allows you to um, carry it on your shoulder. Right. Number three, as much as I say, put stuff that you need most at the top of it. Use all of your outside storage to the maximum brim because it's there and it's part of your volume. And it also makes um, grabbing stuff and accessing stuff so much more easier. So I'm going to start with my Atom Pack Mo, I've gotten this about two years ago. I've done a little bit of sprucing it up and personalizing it. At the very bottom, I have the bag for my tent where I can shove it in if I wanted to, as well as the bag that's used to inflate your Thermarest um, sleeping pad. I hope I will not use those as long as my Flexail Zero Pump works, it's wonders. But I'd like to have that just in case it doesn't. The next thing, or basically the first real thing that goes into my bag is a liner bag. Um, oftentimes, more in the summer and warmer and drier months, I will kind of ditch this one or just use it to cover my sleeping bag. Um, but given I'm going to Scotland, I'll kind of use it really top to bottom. This one I've gotten off Atom Packs when I bought the bag, as well as a few others. Um, so they fit perfectly in. reason we put a liner bag in as well these bags are DCF and quite water resistant they are obviously not 100% waterproof and if it is an absolute downpour of a period on your walk you want to make sure that your stuff is perfectly immaculately dry because you're going to have a severely frustrating experience uh, in the evening. The first item that I personally put in is my sleeping bag. I want to have it at the very bottom and I have it very, very squished. There's people that like to put it in the bag and then put it in rolled in. For me, that just feels very uncomfortable because I can constantly feel the roll at my back. So I'm just going to put it in this way. Right now it feels like my sleeping bag is taking on about half of the bag, which I know is not true. It's just very voluminous and it will kind of narrow it down as I put more loads on top of it. Above my sleeping bag, I will put in my sleeping pad plus my sleeping pillow. Again, as I said before, this is kind of the second last thing I want to take out once the tent is up before I put out my sleeping bag on top. I also add in my Tyvek sheet at this point. However, I'm going to add it at the back of my, my pack, but outside of the liner. Um, obviously right now it's clean and, and new, but over time it will be potentially filthy, whether it's muddy or, or dusty. I really don't want that gunk in my bag. So one of the things I would usually recommend is like really fill the inside of your bag before going to your outer pockets. 
but I also understand that depending on how much you really fill the inside, there's going to be less space on the outside. Because on the early part of this trip, I want all my ring kit quite good accessible, I'm going to put it on the outer pocket and I'm going to do that now so that I will not have issues accessing later on. I'm going to shove my rain pads at the very bottom of the net. And above that, I'm going to add my rain jacket. With all that in, next in line is my tent. I pack my tent in one of those dry cubes. Again, some people love to roll it up or do it any other way. However, for me, I love these because they perfectly fit the shape of my backpack. And also they make sure that when it's uh, dewy or wet or any other kind of yucky in the morning, I'm take it down, that it's protected towards itself, but also to the rest of, rest of my pack. Often at this point in time, it's going to be a little bit variable on what day in the time I'm packing my bag um, and where I'm going and what the weather is like. If it's a consistently like nice weather day, I might put my clothes in this point and then food on top. Um, if the weather is super unpredictable and I don't know what I'm getting myself into, I'll make sure that I have enough food in the outer pockets, put my food in first and then my clothes on top so I can access them um, easier. Given that I'm going to be on a train ride for the next two-ish days, I will put in my uh, clothes back next um, because it's also the heaviest bit of my pack. Right now in here is mainly my sleep stuff, my dermals, um, my hat, some socks, some extra gloves. At this point I will put in my electronics. In here would be my tablet, my Kindle, my battery bank. That will go in next here, just laying it flat. Right now it's just lustrous because all of that stuff is at the moment still charging. Next in line is my whole cooking kit. This is my stove top, my pot, my coffee mug, and any other little bits and pieces I need for cooking. And I would surround that with the last bit that goes into the main part, which is my food bag. It's usually the orange one. Right now, this is not fully filled to the brim to what I will need it because I still have to go do groceries and get the rest of my food for the next few days. This more or less concludes the items that go into the main body of my bag. Uh, the last thing I would probably do, again, depending on weather and situation, would put in my puffy jacket just on top, um, inside if I know I'm not going to need it anytime soon, or probably more to the outside top if I know it might just have to pop it on in a little bit. My pack has two massive side pockets. It has the mesh pockets uh, in the back, plus it has two um, strips on the shoulder respectively, plus an additional hip pocket. I obviously also have my bum bag from Atom Packs where I have like all the itty bitties that I need on the go. So let's pack all the side pockets. The back mesh um, beside my rain kit, the other thing that goes in there is my Ditty bag, which is all my beauty products, toothpaste, toothbrush, medication, etc. As my toilet bag, which is my little trowel um, and toilet paper. And for the moment, because I won't need it um, until a couple days from now, I'll also squeeze in my Sawyer filter. I'll also put in my walking poles, for obviously I will use them most of the trail in my hands, but as I'm traveling, I'm just gonna plop them on one side of my bag. I use the cello yellow strips on the other side of my bag to put in my little seating pad, which is a lifesaver on trail. Out of pure habit, I carry, carry my head torch in my side pocket on the backpack, as well as some tissue and my sunscreen. One of my shoulder straps, I'm going to put in my sunglasses, which will also contain my regular reading glasses. The other one, I will add a tiny water bottle just for on the go. I'm going to attach my little Garmin to the shoulder strap for and last but not least, I add my Teva sandals on the outside. I'm okay with them kind of dangling around. 
I will however use a carabiner to hook them both in I can and then I kind of clip the carabiner to the side of my pack I use this system to balance the bag out so if I feel it's super much heavier on one versus the other I'll kind of tipple around with the water bottle and the shoes to make sure that I am walking as even as I can throughout my trail and as a very very last item I have my bum bag which I have my circuit care cloth pea cloth I carry my wallet another pack of tissues my lip balm hand disinfectant and also going to be my phone and earphones except for some of my electronics some remaining food and obviously the water bottles this is how i pack my bag as i said things might always shift as you go on trail and you realize certain sections require certain specific different type of setup based on accessibility but for the most part this system has served me really 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 well it's allowed me to get everything I need in a decent amount of time without a lot of frustration, which I think is really just everything you ever want and need. Please share below in the comments on how you set up or if you do anything super, super different. I'm always so interested to learn what other people are doing. And I'm gonna go and run to the grocery store and get all those little bits and pieces that I don't yet have because in a mere few hours, I'm going to be shooting off on a sleeper train to the start of my joggly. Um, thank you so much for watching once again a tiny what's in my bag, how I pack my bag video. Uh, like and subscribe, something I've never said before. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok for, to see more proper day-to-day -day updates. Thank you.